Hey guys, Royal here. Welcome back to another video. And guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to deal over five times your damage in Hypixel Skyblock. So guys, if you guys are excited as I am for this video, make sure to leave a fat like down below and make sure to subscribe for your your guys. If you guys click the little i card on the top right of your screen, you guys will see a playlist to my Hypixel Skyblock videos if you guys are interested in more videos like this one. And guys, you know, if you guys are watching my videos and you do enjoy them, why not just subscribe, guys? It helps me out a lot, and it means a ton to me, and you guys will also see more of my videos. Speaking of which, if you guys want to be notified every single time I upload a video or a stream, make sure to turn on post notifications and hit that little bell icon, and you guys will be notified every time I post some new content. Without further ado, guys, we're going to hop right into this video. Alright guys, so in this chest behind me, as you can see, I have my current set that I deal the most damage with, which is my main set. We have the Ender Armor, and we have this aspect of the end. So yeah, I'm going to be putting this armor on right now. And as you can see, we have our main set for damage on with us right here. And right before we get into how much damage we deal with this set currently, guys, I do want to give a massive shout out to Deleting, as he will be helping me out in this video, helping me get the materials that I'm going to need to do this method. Be sure to subscribe to him, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. He uploads Hypixel Skyblock videos like this one, and guides, and other things like that. So be sure to subscribe to him on there. But without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this method. Alright guys, we are here in the graveyard in order to test how much damage we do right away at the beginning of the video. So as you can see, I have my aspect of the end here, whoops, and my armor that I showed you guys earlier in the video. But we are basically going to be going to the zombie, and let's see how much damage we do when we crit him. There we go, we get 2,690 damage per crit. Now, if we go around, yep, same thing. There we go. So it looks like that's basically how much damage we do by critting them, 2,690. Now guys, you may be wondering, what exactly are we going to do to deal this much more damage? So if we go ahead and right click our skyblock menu right here, and if we click on our skills. Now, as you can see, I currently have a combat 12 and foraging seven. Now basically, we are going to be upgrading these two skills, our combat skill and our foraging skill. As your combat skill helps you deal more damage to mobs, and your foraging skill gives you strength. Another thing that we are going to be doing is a method known as talisman spamming. Now, if we go and right click our skyblock menu and go to our accessory bag, we are going to be placing our talismans in here. Once we reforge them, and also you can upgrade the size of your accessory bag by if you go into collection and by upgrading your redstone collection right here now as you can see because i'm on a co-op my redstone collection is already maxed out so we already have the accessory bag upgrade that we need now guys in order to reforge your talismans we will be using something known as the talisman optimizer now what this basically is is this is a bot in a discord server which i will leave link down in the description below guys so you guys can check it out for yourself now what this bot basically does guys is gonna start off by asking you guys a few questions such as if you want 100 percent crit chance or if you want to do maximum damage and things like that and then it'll basically tell you which reforges you need for your talismans in order to deal maximum damage also guys i'll be showing me using this bot later on in the video just so you guys have an idea of how it works and to make it all easier for you guys so yeah just stay tuned for that and we'll get right into that later on in the video now, some of you guys may be wondering, what is exactly the best way to get your skills up? For now, we're going to be focusing on getting our combat skill up, and later on in the video, we're going to be talking about foraging, so stay tuned for that. Now, in my opinion, there are three really good ways to get your combat skill up. One is by making a gas farm on your island. However, if you don't want to use all your minions on gas minions, I wouldn't really recommend this, which is why I'm not going to be doing it. Now the second method is pearl spamming. You can obviously hire pearl spammers, or you can also self pearl spam, which I did indeed make a guide on. You guys can click on the top right of your screen on the i card. You will find a guide that I did make on how to self pearl spam. And I'll also leave that in the description as well. Now the third method and which I will be doing in this video is basically just by killing crypt ghouls. Now in order to do this you come all the way to the back of the graveyard and you go down here in this cave and you will find crypt ghouls that you can kill. 
So this method is pretty simple. We're just down here. We're literally just gonna kill these crypt ghouls. And that's literally all we have to do. We're just in here killing these crypt ghouls. Oops, I'm lagging a little bit. Sorry about that. But yeah, literally, I'm just killing these crypt ghouls until my combat XP goes up. So this is another really good way to get your combat XP up. You can always also use the other two methods. What I'm gonna do right here, guys, is I'm actually going to farm my combat skill XP all the way up till I think we're aiming for level 20 right now. Uh, I currently have level 12. I'm going to go for level 20 combat skill and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so now if we go ahead and check our combat skill, as you can see, we have combat 20. Now, if you guys can tell from the date on the scoreboard, it's been a long time. And I know it, that's another reason this video has been delayed, but no, it won't probably, actually, definitely will not take you as long as it took me to get to a high level, especially because most of you should be at a high combat level anyways if you guys have just been playing through the game and progressing normally but even if you're not you guys it shouldn't take too long to get to it i just took like a lot of breaks in between and i was doing it on and off for a long time so trust me this is one of the fastest ways to get your combat combat skill level up but yeah that's basically it for that and now that we're done with combat if we go back into our skills next step we have foraging now i currently have a skill of foraging seven now i also aim to get to 20 however again it won't take me as long as it took you guys and also foraging doesn't take nearly as long as it takes to level up your combat xp if you have the right tools and speaking of which let's get right into that all right guys so now like i did mention earlier you can also use skill xp boost potions in order to speed up the process now i'm an idiot and i actually wasn't using any for the combat skill xp which could explain why it did take me so long however we are going to be using it this time around for foraging so inside this chest here we do have the foraging xp boost potion that i did mention we also have the the young dragon set in order to move faster and then we have haste potions in order to one tap logs and we have speed potions to move faster now we're also using a tree capitator axe however if you can't afford it you can also use the combination of a jungle axe and a gold axe but yeah that's basically what we're using for now and that should be good enough for us to get our skill up pretty fast also guys i forgot to mention we are going to be using the ocelot pet in order to speed up our xp as you can see its ability forging xp boost so yeah that's another thing that'll help us out there also guys if you do have enough money you could use the monkey pet instead of the ocelot pet but basically we are here into the birch park and if we go ahead over here and find the jump pad we're basically going to go ahead and make our way to the dark thicket which is right over here and there we go we have made it and the fastest way to get your forging silk speed up is basically i'm gonna go into my potion bag right here and grab these three potions the haste forging and the speed and forging speed boost sorry but um yeah basically we're gonna drink all of these and because of the haste we're gonna be able to uh one tap these logs and the, the tree capitator act makes it so uh, we can, you know, mine multiple at once, and all the wood does go into our inventory. So basically, we're just going to drink these and start mining this. And this is the fastest way to get your foraging skill up all the way. So I will bring you guys right back when I hit level 20. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and gotten my foraging up. If we go ahead and right click our skyblock menu and go to our skills, you guys can see that I do have currently foraging 20 alongside the, um, the combat 20 of course. Now again, you could really go as far as you want with any of these skills. Uh, just for the purpose of this video, I only wanted to go to 20 for these. And yeah, so now that we have our skills up, it's time to get into the next part of the video. Alright guys, so now we are completely done with our skills. Now the next step we want to do is called talisman spamming. Now in order to do this, we basically want to get as many talismans as we can. Alright, now in order to do this, I will leave down below in the description a link to an accessories list which should help you out here. Now I didn't make this list except it's going to be really helpful for you guys to know which talismans you have and which ones you need if you don't have all of them already. So that's going to be really helpful and I'll leave that in the description. Alright guys, so as you can see from my accessory bag, I've gone ahead and collected a ton of talismans right here. Now there are a few more that I could have gotten except I didn't because they were a little bit expensive so of course you don't really need all of them but i suggest getting most of them that's because you know now the next step is to basically figure out what reforges you want on it so like i did mention earlier on the video there's a discord bot that helps you figure this out 
I'll leave in the description a link in the, to a Discord server that has this bot. And I'm basically going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So we're going to switch over to Discord right now. Alright, so now that we are in this Discord server, uh, basically you see this bot right here called the Skyblock Simplified. And right here we're going to message it SBS space optimizer. And we're going to hit enter. And it should bring us into a conversation with the bot. And it asks me my Minecraft username. I'm gonna say my username, which is Asmi Royal. And okay, right here it says which profile you like to use. Uh, mine's Raspberry. And yeah, as you can see, it asks you simple questions like this: which weapon? Uh, one, because I'm using the aspect of the end. And now it asks me. Uh, now it asks me is this the correct equipment? And it basically tells me the talismans I have. The as you can see, I have 12 common, seven common, six rare, three epics. And it asked me the armor I'm using, which is the Ender Armor, uh, Ender Set. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and click on the check mark right there. And then, what level of critical potion do you use? So right now, I'm gonna select zero because zero on all potions. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep doing that as it keeps asking me the potions that I'm doing. And now it asks me what would I like to optimize for: perfect crit chance or maximum damage. We are going to select maximum damage. And there we go, it says success, and now this is what basically the reforge is that we want to put on our talismans. So it looks like we want 12 itchy commons, we want 10 itchy uncommons, we want 6 itchy rares, and we want uh, 1 itchy epic and 2 strong epics, and then I didn't have any legendaries. So it tells me that before, this is, this is my strength, my crit damage, and my crit chance, and this is how much this zealots and slayers. And then this is how much we will have after we reforge everything right over here. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple to use this bot and it's really, really helpful for figuring out which reforges you want on your accessories in order to deal the maximum possible damage that you can. So now we're gonna go ahead and hop right back in game. All right guys, so we are in front of the blacksmith right here. And if you guys remember, the bot said that we needed 12 itchy commons so for example i'm gonna go into my accessory bag i'm gonna grab all my 12 common accessories and i'm basically gonna reforge all of them to itchy so i'm obviously not gonna show me doing this process because you guys basically get the point but yeah you basically just reforge all your talismans to the ones that the bot recommends i guys i actually just realized that i had one more talisman that i didn't realize i had so i'm basically just gonna quickly grab that i'm gonna run the bot again and then i'm gonna reforge all of these so yeah but you guys get the point you just run the bot and it tells you exactly what you need to do so i'm gonna bring you guys right back as soon as i have everything reforged all right guys so we have actually gone ahead and reforged all of our talismans if we go ahead and check our accessory bag these are all done to what we need to and what the bot said so yeah it's good for that but yeah we, now we have all this there's one more thing that we could do in order to increase our damage and it's getting a pet now i went on the auction house and i went ahead and bought this tiger pet so we're basically going to go ahead and just click on this right here go into our pet menu and click the summon there we go so now we have all the necessary materials that we need and now we're going to go ahead and test our damage all right guys so right before we go ahead and test how much damage we do i want to quickly give a big shout out to deleting for helping me out a ton with this video you know gathering all the talismans uh helping me out things like that he really helped a lot in this video so yeah big shout out to him you guys can go subscribe to him i'll leave his channel linked in the description below he also uploads happy to skyblock content so make sure to check him out without further ado we're gonna get right back into this video all right so guys we're ready we have everything ready we're gonna go up to the zombie if you guys remember the clip from before we did approximately around 2000 damage right i'm gonna roll the clip again just so you guys can see there we go we get 2690 damage per crit all right let's see how much damage we do the moment of truth oh my god guys we just did over five times our damage holy crap Dude, I think that's I think that's six times, right? I think that is six times. Guys, that's freaking crazy. We literally wow. Okay, we actually did over five times our damage. That's crazy, guys. Alright, guys, that is unfortunately going to wrap up this video here today. Hopefully you did enjoy it, and hopefully you guys found this video very helpful. If you guys did, I'd really, really appreciate a like and a sub, guys. I really appreciate your guys' support, and it just motivates me to keep pushing out content like this one. I know this video took a long time to come out, but I promise I'm working my very hard to stay consistent with the uploads. This video just took forever to make, guys, and I'd really appreciate your guys' support. So yeah, again, you can support me by hitting the like button down below, subscribing, and turning on post notifications 
notifications to make sure you never miss an upload. I'll leave a link to my pearl spamming video, which you guys seem to enjoy a lot. That video did hit, I think it's at 1.6k views at the time of me recording this. So I really, really, really am thankful for you guys for your support on that one. Hopefully we can get a ton of support on this one too. But yeah, if you guys want to go check that out, make sure to click on that card. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. I'm Royal, and I'm out. See you next time. Peace.